Okay, let's continue with Newton Raphson method in Python. And uh, we'll start, um, before we start coding it up, uh, we'll uh, talk about uh, Python functions as first class objects. In Python, they are first class objects. So let's go through um, a, 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 a quick example. Um, let's define this function, add one, a very simple function that takes x and returns x plus one. And uh, um, uh, let's uh, um, define another function mm, call uh, fun that takes function as its first parameter and the argument to that function as its second parameter and applies the function to uh, that parameter. Um, let's um, uh, define another function of two arguments. Um, well, let's call it add um, x and y. Uh, and it will uh, return x plus y, the sum of uh, x and y. Let's um, define another caller, uh, call fun2, takes a function as the first argument, and then the arguments to that function, and applies the function uh, to uh, x and y. Okay, this is idle. Uh, let's go and run this module, uh, or you can could have hit control F5. Uh, notice that one is a function, uh, add is a function, um, so let's call, um, call fun is also a function, let's apply call fun uh, to, uh, evaluate rather, and let's evaluate uh, call fun add one, so, and one, so this is the same as add one applied to one, notice that uh, call fun receives uh, add one as a first class object, so uh, call fun add one eleven. Um, okay, so um, let's apply call add one and two. And call fun add two. Oh, oops, uh, it's add. It's not add two. Um, call fun uh, add one two. call fun2, add1, 2. Okay, this is 3. Again, add is passed as the first class object, or function pointer, if you're familiar with C++, or C. Okay, let's, um, uh, now with that knowledge, uh, code up um, functions of example 1. So, uh, just to recap, uh, example 1 uh, functions, The first function is uh, f of x uh, equals x3 minus 2 x minus 5 and its derivative is uh, 3 x minus 2. Okay, um, open up the same file and uh, comment this out. We no longer need this. Okay, uh, let's define a couple of um, uh, auxiliary functions, or helper functions. Uh, square, return x times x. Uh, cube, uh, return x times uh, square x. And uh, now we can code uh, the first function, f1, return uh, cube uh, of x minus uh, 2 times x minus uh, 5. Yes, so x to the third minus 2 times x minus 5. We just coded it up. And then uh, let's um, call the derivative uh, function, uh, the derivative of um, uh, f um, of x um, as uh, df dx 1 x. And uh, this is going to be equal to 3 times uh, square x minus 2. Oops, I misspelled square, but let's keep it. Uh, uh, we'll get to it when we debug this code. It would be actually a good example of uh, uh, a typo, debugging a typo. Okay, uh, so let's go and code up uh, uh, f1 and uh, uh, the, the, the two functions. Uh, for example, uh, the second example. So here they are. And uh, f2 is equal 
to uh, x to the 6, uh, which um, uh, is uh, cube uh, of x times uh, cube of x minus 2, expressed in terms of the helper functions that we defined above. Let me um, raise it a little. So, and then um, d of dx2 of x uh, is equal to 6 times uh, cube of x times uh, square of x. So that gives us x to the fifth. Okay, that's uh, uh, f5 to the interpreter, Python shell window. Let's test them. f of 1, f2, minus 1, f of 10, uh, 975. Um, you can use your calculator to check these values. Uh, d of dx, um, let's type 5. Oops. So remember that square that uh, we have misspelled. We have to go um, to the source code, the file, and um, exchange UNA. Okay, hit F5, and now it should go through DFDX of 1, 5, okay, uh, works fine. DFDX 2 of 10, okay, that works. Okay, to be continued.